There's more to the universe than meets the eye. More even than has met the imagers of telescopes. But a new NASA spacecraft named WISE, the Wide Field Infrared Survey Explorer, is changing that. We're looking at a volume of space about 100 light years wide with our sun at its center. The WISE mission is built to scan the entire sphere of the sky, looking in the cool infrared wavelengths for dark asteroids, dim and dusty cocoons where new stars are forming, and evolving galaxies. But at this distance, WISE will focus its attention on discovering new brown dwarf stars. Here, the known stars, within 25 light years of the Sun, are labeled in green. But WISE expects to discover many new brown dwarfs, here simulated in red. Brown dwarfs are lightweights. They lack enough mass for their internal gravity to ignite the fires of nuclear fusion, so they glow only dimly. But what they lack in mass, they make up for in numbers. Brown dwarf stars are by far the most numerous in our galaxy. What's more, their combined mass is much greater than that of all the much larger, brightly luminous stars. Understanding brown dwarfs may hold the key to understanding how all stars form. And they can help explain what's going on in the atmospheres of planets orbiting stars other than our Sun. In fact, dwarfs can, and do, have planets themselves. But the data that WISE will return may turn up a pleasant surprise. One or more brown dwarfs very close by, never seen before, stars that are actually closer to us than any other. This animation was produced by Brian Abbott at the American Museum of Natural History Hayden Planetarium in New York using the planetarium's open source software, Digital Universe. The WISE simulation was provided by Davy Kirkpatrick at Caltech. And for Space.com, I'm Dave Brody. <laughs>